This is where I get in trouble, Al had written. I do know very clearly that hashtag Kimberly didn't just check out all of a sudden over pneumonia. In a startling turn of events, it seems that Albie, the ex-husband of Kim Porter, is retracting his previous comments regarding the circumstances surrounding Kim's tragic death. Speculations abound that Diddy may have exerted pressure on Albie to silence him from divulging the truth about Kim's demise. The saga began unraveling about a week ago when peculiar incidents started occurring. First, Kim's Wikipedia page mysteriously vanished, followed by Albie retracting his earlier statements suggesting foul play in Kim's death. Jaguar Wright, seemingly the lone voice unafraid of Diddy, reiterated her claim in a recent interview that Diddy was unquestionably involved in Kim Porter's demise. Notably, she stated it as a fact, not an allegation, asserting that Diddy had a direct hand in Kim's death. These are profound accusations. Yet curiously, Diddy's legal team has not issued any cease and desist orders or threatened to sue Jaguar for defamation. Albie Scher, who had previously publicly referred to Kim's death as murder, found himself in a two-month coma shortly after making those statements in 2020. Fans are now speculating that Albie is retracting his statements out of fear, fearing that the next time he speaks out against Diddy, he may not be as fortunate to survive another mysterious illness. But what exactly did Albie say about Cassie's lawsuit and Kim Porter? And did Diddy truly threaten him? The narrative gained momentum when Albie's post on social media, where he hinted at foul play in Kim's death, was mysteriously deleted. The conversation around Kim Porter's death has intensified, and it appears that Diddy's public relations team is working diligently to erase all traces of Kim from the internet. The intrigue way deepens with the recent settlement of Diddy's lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend Cassie. Cassie's lawsuit, filed on November 16, 2018, mentioned Kim Porter and accused Diddy of domestic violence and sex trafficking. Notably, Kim passed away on November 15, 2018, sparking suspicions among fans that the timing was not coincidental. Cassie had left Diddy just weeks before Kim's death, and Jaguar Wright revealed that Kim had spoken to Cassie shortly before her passing. The controversy escalated as Diddy settled the lawsuit with Cassie, leading to the deletion of Kim's Wikipedia page. Fans attempted to create a new page, only to face repeated removals, further fueling speculation about a concerted effort to erase Kim's digital footprint. Diving into the peculiar circumstances surrounding Kim's death, it's worth noting that she reportedly died of pneumonia at the age of 47 despite having no underlying medical conditions. The original coroner's report indicated no history of drug use or alcoholism. A week before her passing, Kim had complained of a sore throat and fever, but she had seemingly recovered. The sudden and unexplained nature of her death, coupled with allegations of poison in her body by Jaguar Wright, raises disturbing questions. I'll be sure, Kim's ex-husband and father of her, son Quincy, had previously posted on social media in 2020, referring to Kim's death as murder and using the hashtag Don't Let the Love Songs Fool You, seemingly implicating Diddy. In November 2021, Albie posted a throwback photo with Kim and Quincy, hinting at undisclosed information and urging others to contact the FBI. However, just months after this post, Albie experienced a mysterious medical emergency, leading to a two-month coma. The recent situation with Cassie reignited the conversation about Kim's death, prompting fans to await Albie's response. However, Albie initially posted a cryptic message expressing disappointment, only to backtrack when people brought up Diddy. In a subsequent clarification, he denied referring to Diddy and insisted that his posts were about someone else he considered family. The plot thickens as fans speculate on the possibility that Diddy may have threatened Albie or Quincy, given the music mogul's alleged power and influence over others in the industry. Reports surfaced about Kim writing a tell-all book before her death, 
with Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Deal, suggesting that Kim possessed intimate knowledge of Diddy's darkest secrets. Deal hinted at Diddy's alleged abuse, claiming that Diddy broke Kim's nose and flew in a surgeon to repair it, mirroring the accusations made by Cassie against Diddy. Jean Deal's revelations add another layer to the unfolding drama, suggesting a pattern of abuse and manipulation by Diddy. Some fans argue that Alby might be backtracking due to Diddy's threats, while others speculate that Alby himself may be entangled in compromising situations, afraid that Diddy could drag him down. As the enigma surrounding Kim Porter's death continues to unravel, the questions persist. Is Diddy truly involved in Kim's demise, as claimed by Jaguar Wright and implied by Alby Cher's initial statements? Is there a concerted effort to erase Kim's digital presence? And what secrets did she hold in the alleged tell-all book? The web of intrigue surrounding Diddy's influence, power dynamics, and potential threats adds layers to a story that continues to captivate and disturb. The silence of industry insiders, except for a few outspoken voices, raises further questions about the power dynamics at play. The saga of Kim Porter's death, entangled with allegations of abuse, secrecy, and manipulation, promises to reveal more as the layers of the narrative are peeled back.